Republicans are making a strong showing in the western counties as the two parties struggle for control of the state legislature. News 13 Cheryl Barber is keeping a close watch on the state Senate and House races tonight. Cheryl, who's getting the edge? Well, Larry, Republicans are leading most of the races in the West with GOP incumbents fending off Democrat challengers. Here's a few examples. In the District 50 Senate race, we have a rematch between Republican incumbent Jim Davis and Democrat Jon Snow. Davis beat Snow in 2010. Snow was trying to get his seat back in the far western counties. It appears that won't happen as Davis has a strong lead. This is one of about a dozen races that could decide which party controls the Senate. Republicans are doing well in the races for several state House seats. In Buncombe County's 115th district, it's a struggle tonight between Democrat Susan Wilson, a juvenile family law attorney, and former uh, Buncombe County Commission Chairman Nathan Ramsey. Ramsey has the lead and appears headed for a victory. The other House seat for Buncombe County is the 116th district. Here's a rematch between Democrat Jane Wilden and incumbent uh, Republican Tim Moffat. Wilden beat Moffat in 2008 and Moffat beat Wilden in 2010. Moffat finally takes two in a row with his apparent win tonight. Over in the 119th district, a matchup between Democrat Joe Sam Queen, a three-term former senator, and Republican Mike Clampett, a retired fire captain. Queen appears to be headed for victory, one of the few Democrats surviving tonight in the mountains. Now, if you didn't see your candidate or race in this update, keep your eye on the ticker at the bottom of the screen or go to our website to watch the returns roll in. Darcel? Thanks, Cheryl. And voters have overwhelmingly gone against the likely transfer of the Asheville water system from city ownership to the Metropolitan Sewerage District. Yeah, Representative Tim Moffitt sponsored a bill for the transfer over the protest of local leaders. City Council put this non-binding referendum on a ballot to let residents have a say on the issue. Now, Republicans are watching the results of state and local races closely. And as Cheryl mentioned a few moments ago, they're doing especially well in North Carolina House and Senate races tonight. And News 13's Mario Boone is live for us at the Asheville Republican Watch Party at Magnolia's in downtown Asheville. Mario. Hey, this is the GOP Watch Party. And as you can see, the folks have kind of trickled out back here. Actually, it's empty, but just on my right over there, quite a few people. We can't show you that right now. But what I can show you is a winner tonight. Step on in here. We have uh, a representative-elect, Mr. Ramsey. You were on the county commission here in Buncombe County. You took a break from politics. Now you're back in it. What brought you back, and how do you feel tonight? Well, I'm just honored and humbled by the support the folks in Buncombe County have given me. I appreciate it all their prayers and support. I commend Miss Wilson for, you know, her campaign, the effort she made and uh, for, for, for anyone putting themselves out for, for public office. And, you know, after this election, it's time to put her party affiliation in the back seat and go about solving the, the problems and challenges that our community and state face. What's priority number one when you step foot into the state capitol when you take office? Well, certainly, making our community and our state more economically prosperous. We're, we're still about twice the unemployment rate that we had five, six years ago. A lot of businesses and families are st still struggling. Uh, so, you know, I think at the top of the legislative agenda is going to be fundamentally reforming our tax structure that folks on both the left and the right agree we need to do to help make us more competitive so we can uh, turn in out the workforce skills that uh, we need from our community colleges, K-12 and university systems, and then coming up with a sustainable model to fund our transportation projects like I-26 Connector to, to move forward on those. We saw a big applause erupt here when the announcement came down that uh, Mr. McCrory had won the governor's mansion. What do you think about that? Well, I, I commend uh, Governor-elect McCrory, and I'm sure he will do a, a great job. And just hope, uh, you know, it's a challenge. Uh, most of the legislators now are going to be from the Charlotte to Raleigh region. So, you know, uh, uh, the folks up here in the mountains and in eastern North Carolina, since we're not as populated, uh, that's going to be a challenge for us. But I know Governor McCrory will do a great job and uh, just will work to make sure we represent the entire state. Uh, Representative-elect, Mr. Ramsey, thank you so much for your time. Congratulations. You. All right, let's send it back to you guys in the studio.